And the last permission is the permission to give. There's been a lot of research coming out from, well, Yale, <laughs> um, and um, UPenn and all over the, uh, the country about what is happiness and how do you measure happiness? And what we're finding, what we're learning is that self-compassion is a skill, is a practice that really will help foster the sense of happiness as well as gratitude and ability to give and to be service of. I love this, um, uh, this research example that came out of Penn's um, Authentic Happiness Research Lab. And they gave one group of people, uh, so they divided their participants into two groups. And one group got, let's say, $100. And their goal, their job was, go and buy something for yourself with this money. And when you come back, we're gonna measure your happiness, okay? The second group got the same amount of money and their instruction was, we need you to go and buy something for somebody else and give it to them. And when you come back, we're gonna measure your happiness. What do you think happened? Who was happier? The givers, yeah. What they found was that the givers had more sustained happiness. What do I mean by that? That there was a burst of joy and happiness when you got something fun for yourself, and then it kind of goes away, <laughs> okay? Until the next big purchase. And I think about my kids going to Target, and they're like, oh my God, I need to have this right now. And then they haven't looked at it since we've been home. You know, like <laughs> that. But when you're able to give, and when you're able to practice things like gratitude and giving, that there is joy that you experience immediately, but also that joy you get is longer lasting, is something that holds you a little longer than just a quick spike for yourself. And I ask, how much do we give our, our, our young people permission to do that as part of their life, to do that as part of their daily routine or part of their weekly routine or their monthly routine, right? To not only give to themselves, giving themselves permission to have grace and to be flexible and be kind, but also to give that to other people as well.